Hello, is Bodacious Bichon back and the water is starting to come in as we're entering May. Signs etc have started to go up for San Francisco and the rebuild is on its way. Wow, you absolutely have to love Dash's speed every time. 3, 2, 1. This is the Ovula family here. You've seen in past videos. This is another expanded version of us. This is my grandfather to the right. He is absolutely scared of these kind of rides, which I, I mean, I had to get his reaction. It was a must. But this is our journey of Disneyland and DCA. As previously said, San Francisco is on its way up. We are entering summer where a lot of refurbishments are coming up and a lot of surprise ones going into summer like well Splash Mountain not much of a surprise due to Princess and the Frog and we do have Peter Pan Mr. Toad as well and that's probably because they're connected with each other makes sense here's Spider-Man going through Avengers Campus it was the bald uncle's first time as you saw in the glasses this is uh, another uncle meeting Shang-Chi for the first time as he appeared in the parks we do stay for the Guardians of the Galaxy, singing and dancing, actually never viewed that, that is over in DCA. And for those big Matterhorn fans that are always worried because the interior has a lot of wear and tear, that does need work done, but as long as you see refurbishments and you see people like myself riding it, you will be good. Teacups, here we come. Speaking of Alice in Wonderland, that is another refurbishment that will be going down, I believe around June 5th. Oh, Yoda always thinks that he's training, but no, he's just getting a free ride on people's backs. would like to show the interior just before it closes. Who knows, maybe they make some changes, maybe not. You know, it's, they're just taking advantage of other rides opening that need refurbishment. So they're just they're just doing what needs to be done. Oh, Two Town, how we have missed you. Thank you for being back. We are upon Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railroad, where a lot of people, strangely, have not been on it yet. I don't know if they are scared just because it's similar to Rise of Resistance. I will say if you come with your family, absolutely ride Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railroad. That is a big title. Very big, just like this queue. I've got to say this is the most incredible queue after Rise of Resistance in Disneyland. I mean, just look at the props, whether they're real props or not. Th this is beautiful. You really have everything to scale. It's just, it's really immaculate. It's, it's incredible. Everyone was speechless, everyone was blown away, the, the line was super smooth. And as we continue to take a gander through the queue, it is nice to see Roger Rabbit finally back in Disneyland. It is amazing to see him back. We're all excited. We hope he's here to stay. We don't want him to go. It's, a, it's an amazing ride. It's great effects. I love it. This was an absolutely funny moment. My uncle did believe that this was just the ride. He said, is it just a walkthrough? And I was like... I just told him yeah he believed it but I mean look at it it is so great I mean how could you how could you not think so right you would think this is it what is it a museum who knows this is this is Mickey Mouse Clubhouse right here a great Easter egg for younger children like I used to watch it when I was younger I remember the beginning of it it was it was pretty great absolutely loved this part of the queue or the concession stand and whatnot this is very interactive for the young ones of course might I say cheesy jokes Oops, not intended, maybe so. More on Toontown. Chippendale Gadget Coaster is running. Mickey and Minnie interactions are going smooth as well. You may be wondering why I am dissecting this ride. It's just because to me it's very beautiful. It's astonishing. I think it's what we need more in the future. This is incredible. And Avengers roller coaster that's coming soon. Take note. Hey, if it keeps working, keep impressing. That is what I like to say. These theaters do fall in line with my videos. I love going to the theater, I love watching film, and I love critiquing and reviewing and letting you know whether you should go see it or not. Absolutely go see Perfect Picnic because look at this beautiful effect. I, I mean, I just, I'm stunned. And you should be stunned as well. Mickey is a classic. He is the epitome of Disney. You know, he is, it's, it's Mickey and Walt, you know, those two are really, big juggernauts as i said bring your family come enjoy this ride i'm sitting here with my grandpa and grandma and we on to rise of resistance the queue everything's still up to shape 
pretty good i like what they're doing i like how they're maintaining everything it's clean it's smooth olga's cantina time to get down i was 100 percent satisfied bloody marys are my favorite and i was lucky enough to try a bloody rancor it was great so great i had two don't worry two is the limit you don't need anyone acting crazy once they leave the cantina one thing i have heard from many people is the want of bar stools and hey i'm for it but what they don't want is people staying here for just too long because there is a waiting list for more people to try and come and try as well as maybe it is their first time as well. I do believe throughout May you will be seeing Mando and Chewie more. I'm not sure about June, July, summer, pretty much I'm not 100% sure on who you will be seeing sighted throughout Galaxy's Edge. And everyone was super nice. You should get a great customer experience when coming to something like this. Another announcement we are accustomed to, Star Wars will be coming back to Space Mountain and you'll be able to experience Star Wars in space. This was hands down the saddest part of the day, the last descent of Splash Mountain. I've been coming since a kid and the theme, it's always been there for me, it's always hit and I love it and this is, this is it, this view, the theme, everything just it really went well together and I'll never forget it. And once we get Disney's Princess and the Frog, I really hope it touches Disney goers in the future and I hope it leaves a mark because, you know, we like to see stuff new and updated. Just a quick break away from Disney. This is in Anaheim, this park. Kobe Bryant and Gianna Bryant's tribute. Had to get the bucket up and show some love. Speaking of bucket, bucket hat, Marvel from DCA. My grandpa did get one and he loves his turkey leg. He had to get it. He got it so late because he was determined. His search did not end, but he did finally get one as there was a shortage this day. My uncle as well did share it with them and they chowed down on it. I am not a turkey leg guy, chimichangas all day. And what a perfect snapshot leading into Swiss Family Treehouse. It's it's coming, it's coming. You can see parts sticking out now. It's looking, it's looking quite nice. And that pretty much wraps up our trip at Disneyland for what it was and what it is. It was amazing. Here we are at the Chinese Theater on Hollywood Boulevard. It is, it's a classic. You gotta go check it out if you haven't. Uh, it's just amazing. It was special. It was great. Everyone loved it. On the Disney Plus side of things, we do need to get things rolling because it's just not looking great so far. A lot of people agree. And it's about that time where Bodacious Bichard heads to his bodacious exit. He loves sharing his experience with you. Maybe more to come. We will see. Everyone have a great day, Bodacious Bichard.